Hello, we are coming to our third lecture, Polarization and Over Voltage. As we seen earlier, for this electrode reaction, the forward reaction is the deposition reaction which creates a deposition potential through which a cathodic current is generated and the backward reaction is the decompositional or dissolution reaction which uh, makes a deposition potential by which an anodic current is created at equilibrium both the currents become equal and which leads to an exchange current density at that time the potential is E and this potential is recording at standard temperature pressure and concentration we will say that it is standard electrode potential then if we are supplying some extra current from an external source the equilibrium get disturbed either in this way or in this way if the cathodic process increases by the extra current the rate of deposition become faster and the equilibrium potential will shift to a more negative value the new potential which is proportional to the extra applied current and the e e1 minus e0 will be negative that is already we are giving a negative sign to the potential since it is reduction potential and this is further decreasing if the anodic current is or the applied current is in the direction of anodic process ia will be greater than ic and the rate of backward reaction will increase than the forward reaction and they will generate a new potential which is more positive or increase higher than the standard electrode potential e2 minus e0 will be a positive value this case both of in both this case the electrodes are said to be polarized that is by the presence of an applied voltage or current the shifting of equilibrium potential can happen due to the change in the equilibrium of the redox process this is the concept of polarization and if the cathodic current increases due to polarization it is known as cathodic polarization and if the anodic current increases it is known as anodic polarization the value of polarization or the measure of polarization is expressed as over voltage its unit is volt since it is the potential difference from the equilibrium value due to the cathodic or anodic polarization if the polarization is cathodic then the created over voltage is known as cathodic over voltage and it will be negative if it is anodic polarization it is known as anode the extra potential is known as anodic over voltage and it is greater than the equilibrium potential when ia is equal to ic there is no net current flow due to the formation of equilibrium that is rate of forward reaction become equal to rate of backward reaction and the current densities ia and ic have the same magnitude thus a net current flow indicates polarization 
and that degree of polarization is obtained by measuring the over voltage. If it is less than the equilibrium potential, it is eta C called cathodic over voltage and we can say that there occurred cathodic polarization. If it is greater than equilibrium potential, it is called anodic over voltage and we can say that there occurred anodic polarization. The current density and over voltage are very much correlated. Now we will discuss how it is correlated. We know when a metal is dipped into its ion there would be a double layer formation. Here in this figure, I have denoted the inner Helmholtz plane and the outer Helmholtz plane. The metal has to go to the outer Helmholtz plane by the decomposition reaction and the metal N plus ions have to reach the electrode by the deposition reaction. For this process, it has to cross over an energy barrier. When the cathodic process and the anodic process are in equilibrium, the energy barrier for the reaction will be delta G star and at that time the current density is the exchange current density and is expressed by the equation that we have seen in the previous lecture and the constants n f n nu can be replaced by a uh, by a, a, con a prime a constant value when anodic polarization occurs i a will be greater than i c that is the rate of dissolution increases by the applied current and the activation barrier for the anodic process will be less than the activation barrier for the cathodic process. That the whole process I am giving in the blue color so that you can understand or you can see by close examination of this picture and you can see the anodic uh, in the anodic side there is a little increase in the starting point and the cathodic side it's uh, getting more down that is for when there is anodic polarization occurs the activation barrier for the anodic process get decreased than that of the uh, cathodic process and the equivalency of IC and IA will be lost and the IC have a value of A prime E raised to minus delta GC by RT and IA have A prime into E raised to minus delta GA by RT. So we say that their preferential anodic process occurred and the potential increases to a higher value than the equilibrium potential. When, if the other process which is the cathodic, preferential cathodic process occurred, the reverse condition take place that is delta G C star. The left side process uh, activation barrier for the uh, backward reaction, sorry, um, in this equation it is a forward reaction decreases than the backward reaction that is the delta G C prime will be less than delta G A prime so that I C greater than I A and there will be a new value for I C and I A. The delta G C, delta G A and all these new free energies are the new activation barrier for the anodic and cathodic processes respectively. From this 
you can understand the situation where an electrode where when an electrode act as anode or cathode when it is connected to another electrode the connection with another electrode makes a complete cell setup that leads to disturbance of the equilibrium of electrodes which leads to the disturbance is the polarization for example I am taking example with hydrogen electrode. We know the standard direction potential is the zero volt. When an electrode is connected to it, it make it polarized either in cathodic direction or in the anodic direction. Depend on the electrode which is connected towards the hydrogen electrode by which we will name it as anode and cathode of the complete cell. We already said in the previous lecture that the platinum electrode or platinized platinum electrode which uh, uh, that can uh, easily re-establish the equilibrium especially the platinized platinum that is it will not produce any over voltage at standard condition. So we will take always we are taking the hydrogen electrode as standard electrode when uh, the electrode is replaced by another uh, zinc or iron or uh, nickel uh, another electrode that um, constancy it will lost so that uh, the uh, best electrode for star SH is uh, selected as platinized platinum or at least platinum the calomel electrode, twin hydro electrode, these all are, we know, they are reference electrodes. All, they are um, choosing us these reference electrodes uh, because of this type of uh, property. They are also possessing this property that they can easily attain the equilibrium uh, current density without changing their value very much. So, we are taking these electrodes as standard. I am uh, giving a basic idea for this is that you can uh, see hydrogen and oxygen or voltage in my PDF. In that way that our voltage happens and the effective uh, for hydrogen this uh, mm, platinum electrode will not produce any over voltage and oxygen when it is connected to hydrogen it attains an over voltage and you can un easily understand that um, that if you know the basics from my lecture so uh, here uh, here my uh, watch this uh, video clearly and try to uh, learn it. Thank you. In next class we will discuss the uh, correlation and current density, correlation between current density and over voltage uh, by an equation that we will discuss in the uh, next lecture.